We are receiving some Station, voiceover again. Research and outreach activities. Commander Peggy Whitson, and also a former NASA astronaut, following this mission and splashdown tomorrow morning, will have spent 695 days in space across five flights, which places her seventh on the all-time list for cumulative days in space. Again, we are continuing to stand by for that final go, no go poll. For those of you who are just joining us, we are providing live coverage of the Axiom mission for undocking and departure activities. The undocking is now slated to take place at 6.15 a.m. Central with physical separation, 7.15 a.m. Eastern. Following that separation, there will be a series of departure burns. After the second departure burn, known as Depart Burn 1, Dragon will then exit the keepout sphere. That will take place around 6.21 a.m. Central, 7.21 a.m. Eastern. About 13 minutes after that keep out sphere exit will be the approach ellipsoid exit around 6.34 a.m. Central, 7.34 a.m. Eastern, which will set Dragon and the Axiom Mission 4 crew back on their journey home to Earth. So there you see on your screens right now the ground control that is actually going to be guiding the capsule back to Earth. It is all automated as we were told by our experts and as we all know, it is an automated procedure that is executed by the ground control. The astronauts right now sitting over there all suited up are waiting for the undocking to happen and which might happen in a few minutes. through a brief but expected handover between satellites. This causes a loss of signal from station and the Dragon cameras. But currently on your screen, you see a dual view with the SpaceX Mission Control uh, room in Hawthorne, California on the left-hand side of your screen and the International Space Station Flight Control Room here at Mission Control Houston on the right-hand side of your screen. Both of these teams currently working in tandem through today's joint operations. Those joint operations, those joint operations will conclude after Dragon exits the approach ellipsoid which is one of the invisible boundaries around the International Space Station that governs visiting vehicles when they are arriving and departing from the orbiting laboratory. Nervous moments there, as you see, for the family as they watch this entire undocking procedure on their TV screens. Mother, father and sister of Shubhanshu Shukla sitting at their home and viewing the undocking procedure of their son who's made the country proud. And we are now and about getting ready five to enter away from the new undocking command time. That time is slated for 6:10 a.m. Central, 7:10 a.m. Eastern. Five minutes after the undock command is sent, we will have physical separation. Again, that physical separation from the space station is now scheduled for 6:15 a.m. Central, 7:15 a.m. Eastern. So there is a slight change in the time. Uh, it is an approximate time that is given to us. Earlier it was 7.05 a.m. EDT, which is the Eastern time. And just like and now during its, its approach to the International Space Station, Dragon's departure and deorbit is fully autonomous, requiring no action from the crew on board. Once the undock command is sent in just about four minutes from now, that will begin that autonomous sequence. And the first step is for the umbilicals to retract. That will be followed by the hooks opening. There are 12 total hooks. Those will open in two separate phases of six. And then we will have that physical separation following two short undock burns. So the procedure of undocking just explained to you as to how the capsule the will unhook on the itself are from ISIS. That go, no, go pull now. Another It will be underway and there on your screens, interesting. Inside Dragon you can SpaceX, see the, on the big no loop, gravity. Ground is go for undocking. The undock sequence start time is 11.10 Zulu. Copy, 1110 Zulu, advisors are closed and secured, and we are go for undock. SpaceX copies, advisors closed and secured, and Dragon crew is go for undock.
And we just heard confirmation there that the team's on the ground as well as the Axia Mission 4 crew currently on Dragon and ready for their departure from station are all go to proceed with today's undocking and departure. So with that go, we are now just awaiting the undocking sequence to actually begin. Again, that undock command is scheduled to be sent in just about two minutes from now at 6.10 a.m. Central, 7.10 a.m. Eastern. And once that command take, is sent, it'll take about five minutes for Dragon to separate from the International Space Station with physical separation planned for 6.15 a.m. Central, 7.15 a.m. Eastern. Dragon's initial departure from station is a little different from other docked vehicles like the Soyuz that rely on springs to push them away from the docking port. Dragon will actually execute two short thruster firings called undock burns to physically separate using a combination of the 12 Draco engines around the base of the spacecraft, with the first breaking any stiction between Dragon and the docking port and the second slowly backing the spacecraft.